Thank you all. It's, it's been a really, really rich two days of this conference. I'm sure some people have had to rush off to trains and planes and, and buses, um, or maybe bicycles. Uh, but we are really happy to have just a short session now to reflect a moment on some of the conversations we've had over the last couple of days. But also, we we must absolutely do another round of, of gratitude, um, expressions of gratitude. So first of all, um, thank you all for being here, for making all the effort to come here, to participate, to present, um, to moderate. Thank you, moderators. That was a really tough job to keep people within time. And most of you did a really excellent job. <laughs> um, thank you all for, um, for your contributions. Thank you again to our steering committee and to uh, the Queen's College, um, to our funders, KR Foundation, and to CEDA um, for supporting this and making it possible for us all to be here. Um, we also want to make a special thanks to the conference organizing team, uh, Zach and Austin. I don't know where Austin is. Oh, there you are. <laughs> You guys made things flow so smoothly in Lecture Room B and Shulman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and for all the work uh, and with a smile on your faces, nonetheless, it's been really fantastic. Um, Thank you, Lindsay, for all your efforts to prepare many, many documents and communications and anticipation of the conference and for today and the, the work that will come. <laughs> so all of us can, can enjoy the sessions that we happen to miss because we were in the other ones. Um, and is Ines yes, here? Right there. Oh, there you are. So big, big, big thank you. Please and a round of applause for Ines, please. <laughs> this conference, <laughs> this, this conference would not have been possible without the absolute uh, genius of Ines in making things happen and happen so smoothly. So. Thank you so, so much, Ines. And it's really and sleepless nights. Nice. Yes. Yeah. We are so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> good. That's really good to hear. Um, I'm going to pass the uh, microphone on to Mikhail, who will explain our last exercise. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's really easy with a crowd like you. I mean, it's like, yeah. So last things of the day. So first, here's a survey. Uh, we really appreciate if you give us feedback on the conference so we can improve or take it for a future conference. Uh, so please take a moment. We'll also circulate by email if your camera doesn't work with this. Um, also, there's been lots of requests to share the presentations. And it's here. There's been lots of requests to share the presentations and to share the email addresses of participants. So the way we're going to proceed is we're going to set, we are going to share the presentations, but it will give everyone an opportunity to say, please don't share mine. So expect an email saying, if you don't want to share, let me know. And then we'll just make it available only to the participants. And then we will not share the email addresses, but we'll make a LinkedIn group where we'll invite everyone. So whoever wants to join can join and contact with the others. So that's how we're going to proceed. And now for the last uh, activity of the day and of the conference. We're going to do the hot mic exercise where we're going to take some highlights or takeaways or things you learn from the public. So we're going to pass the mic around. You can throw it, but please don't throw it like this. Just throw it softly like this so no one gets injured. And we're going to pass and we're going to ask each one of some of you, not each one because it's too much, but like 10 of you to say one sentence, something that you learned or a highlight from the conference for you. So this will sound like, hello, I am your name, and then something I learned is, and it ends with a period or with a, when you have to breathe, okay? And then you pass it to the next person. And this way we have, we're gonna get some of the key takeaways uh, that you and hear from you. And with this, we'll close this, this session, I think. So I'm gonna pass it, volunteer. And a suggestion, when you pass it to someone else, try to pass it to someone you have not, you don't know, or you have not had a conversation with during the conference, if that makes mm -hmm. it clear. <laughs> Just so we extend the circles. All right, here, you got it. <laughs> um, no. Truzar Doherty, uh, University of Victoria. Thank you so much to everyone who, who put this together. This was uh, by far one of my favorite conferences. Uh, 
it, it, not not exactly something I learned, but it, it was really nice just to see everyone uh, that I've seen their research but never actually met. And it was just really nice to connect with uh, individuals on that basis. So thanks. Someone catch. <laughs> you gotta keep your heads up this session. <laughs> Uh, I'm Chris, uh, I'm from Culture and State, and echo what's just been said about the conference. Uh, there's too many things, there are too many things in my brain, but just really connected with the mapping of feminist resistance um, that I heard about yesterday. And yeah, it was really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Claire Omanic uh, with Oil Change International. Um, I am very jet lagged at the moment, so <laughs> learned how much I need sleep. Um, but I think I've been thinking a lot, I guess, about like still how to bridge some of the really cool modeling and like technical detailed things with like the bigger high level conversations that have also been had about justice and colonization and like, I don't know how to, how we can bring the conversations more together in times. And sometimes I feel like they're happening, but also in parallel. So yes, that is my reflection and I will pass it to you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Igor from Perspectives Climate Research. Um, actually, I'm coming out of a three-month sabbatical, and yesterday was my first working day. So, <laughs> so it was an amazing way to get back into uh, into the climate policy, um, uh, you know, uh, work and uh, get inspiration and meet so many uh, so many people working uh, on well, not only on fossil fuel supply policies, but other issues as well uh, related to climate change and. Uh, um, that's really something that you know uh, motivates me a lot. Uh, so thanks a lot to to everyone, and thanks a lot to to you guys for organizing this. And I'll pass it back over there. You died. I don't want this thing. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know how that goes. <laughs> Okay, um, gosh, I did not really want this thing here, but uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm Kevin Koenig, I work with Amazon Watch, um, first time at the conference, and um, it's been so inspiring. I felt like I've, I've, I've met so many people whose papers and analysis have read, um, and it's just across the board, it's so useful, so much of our campaign work, engagement with governments, with companies, I for now feel like I actually have some tools and vocabulary to better engage with them. Um, so really inspiring. I will say too, my experience across the board has been, you know, when we're all, we're looking at the agenda and you see the panels and you're like, oh, there's three, you know, there's three or four sessions um, or, or panelists. One, this doesn't really apply to me. And you sit through it and you're like, that's always the one that I, I, I walked away with being like, wow, I don't work on coal, but what I learned about how the transitions have been in the analysis is really super and, and applicable for what we're doing. So, thank you. Okay, feels, uh, no one's looking at me. All right, it's coming. Hi, uh, Johnny West of Carbon Tracker. Um, just the um, extraordinary amount of uh, work that is already there and in place and can be drawn on, which um, I, I guess perhaps I should have known, but didn't, you yeah. um, know. But it's just very clear um, from, the panels here. I mean, I've got a list of like 20 things to follow up on. Who's going to take it? Bite your heads. God, I, can, I cannot believe I caught that. Um, <laughs> I'm Natalie from IASD. Um, I, yeah, I just really want to echo what Johnny said. We, you know, I, I feel like we, we have so many of the tools and the approaches, the strategies, the policies. Um, what I would be quite interested in is, I think, echoing what Claire said, um, thinking more about how this area of work intersects with sort of broader um, e economic policies and kind of transformative economic policies, thinking about sort of 
ownership, who owns the economy, like that kind of stuff more in general is I think a link that would be interesting to explore in future. I'll pass to someone who I have not spoken to before. <laughs> Can I get some indication? <laughs> or just that? Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, Tim Donaghy with Greenpeace. Um, <laughs> echoing what everyone else has said, really fantastic conference. Thanks to the organizers. I um, feel like I have um, a head full of things I don't know about, but probably need to figure out, um, in particular, critical minerals, uh, international finance, um, and probably most importantly, how do we build power, political power, to actually enact this transition and make it just and fair for everybody? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Jimena Warners from the Ford Foundation. Um, thank you for all the organizers. This has been a, a wonderful conference. I did learn a lot. Um, it's the first time I was at this conference, so it was just very overwhelming. And um, I think what I, what I learned, or maybe what I would like to see more of, um, is a lot more of the connections across uh, scales from academics and activists and people from local communities um, from the global south and in the global north. I heard a couple of times people saying that we needed to have more of those connections. And I think there are academics and research institutions in the global south that I think making those connections across scales, but also across movements would be really, would be really wonderful. And I did see some of that here as well, but we'd love to see more of that. So um, I'll pass it on to, I'm going to watch out. Oh. <laughs> right, thank you for to the organizers for all the work done. Uh, something I'm happy about this conference is seeing how indigenous perspectives were an integral part. Uh, in any of the panels I'll join, uh, this, this was all, always highlighted. And also seeing how indigenous were, nor, were an active part of, of, of the discussions that made me really happy coming from a country that's very rich in uh, multicultural terms. And I'll pass it to <laughs> no one looking at me. I know, <laughs> I know this strategy already. Um, Hi, um, Felix, it is here. Uh, for me, I haven't been to many conferences, and the handful of one two conferences I've been to have been very different from this one. So I've just been e extremely uh, delighted with the breadth of of uh, people invited from different areas, activism, um, research, policy, and I think that's really the way to go. And I feel very inspired by the passionate speeches that have been given in, in, in some of the panels. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> You'll take it. Anyone wants to say anything? Any inspiration? No, OK. Well, thank you, everyone, very much. This, is, this has been fantastic. Um, so I guess with this, we are done for this session. So we're going to adjourn until the next time. We stay posted. Uh, we'll give details when we know ourselves what the next conference is going to be, uh, when. Um, so in the meantime, thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. And uh, until the next one. So we are done. Thank you. <laughs>